back to Maypole Farm and just finishing up the contracts that we were running last time. I've slowed time down so I can get these done this game day without it getting too dark, um, basically, because otherwise I'm going to finish them this game day and any recording that I want to do would be in the pitch black, which would be silly. Um, so that's the contract on field eight finished. And uh, we've got about 2,000 litres of barley off of that and just over 1,800 pounds. So not bad. Um, we've also got bales off of there, so we need to get those back to the yard. Um, they are all stacked here. So I've got 11 bales. Um, but before I finish the contract, I stacked them up in the field that I own so that there weren't any funnies. I don't think there would be, but just wanted to play it safe, you know. Um, so we've got more than we can fit on the trailer, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but I'll get what I can on the trailer, and I think we'll have one stack left to take down to the farm. Um, so I've taken the last couple of days off. Um, essentially, Saturday and Sunday I took off from making content. Um, as you know, hopefully, if you're a regular, life's really mental. Well, work's really mental at the moment, and... Uh, the weekend I, I kind of wanted to just switch off um, but the ongoing saga of the house renovations next door meant that they were having new windows fitted which meant a day of hammer drilling um, they took the dogs out for a bit but it wasn't long enough because they were going all day um, so I'd planned on Saturday to get a bunch of videos recorded. I'd planned to finish this one off and get the uh, the video on Maze Plus and Chickens sorted. Um, but I could just could not cope with the noise. I am very noise sensitive. Again, regulars will know. Oh no. Why? And I also knocked some bales over. Yeah, I'm very noise sensitive and hammer drilling all day just fried my brain completely. Um, so I knew yesterday was a write-off um, not yesterday, Saturday was a write-off um, family were away on Saturday as well so Sunday I just kind of spent the day with the family we watched some TV um, really enjoying the new telly at the moment we watched Avatar which is one of my wife's favourite films which she fell asleep during but you know. uh, so we're just going to try and pick these bales up uh, takes me a couple of goes but I do actually get them to flip up um, obviously it's not the best bale spike for doing that but um, yeah so I I think you'll probably see this video on Tuesday um, I'd like to get a couple in the bag it's Monday um, and I really don't like uploading or finishing a video and then rushing to upload it it's, uh, and I don't really have time I'm so I've kind of just got at the moment a bit of a slot in the morning where I can sit and do something so I'm recording the commentary for this video um, I want to get a couple sorted before I start releasing videos again um, and it really depends how this week goes it's Monday morning I have not started work yet um, I'm expecting this week at work to be awful um, if I'm honest so if the week at work is going really badly then I might not get videos done I'll be playing farm sim in the evenings, probably, if I'm actually conscious and not working still. Um, but I will not be doing the voice and stuff, because I need to be in the right kind of headspace for recording commentary. I actually I went out for a run this morning, which has kind of helped my brain. Um, but while I was running, I did ponder actually taking the entire week off. Um, because for most of the run my head was not in a place to sit and do this um, but actually I felt pretty good after the run I uh, got a few things done I've had a shower um, cracked open a monster um, and I thought I'd get this commentary recorded so yeah um, you will have seen from the thumbnail that I've added in some new vehicles into the custom contract setup oh I had fun with that I have found, and actually I might need to try and feed it back to the creators of better contracts. If you enable the DLCs, it overwrites the the feature of better contracts, which tells it to only use the custom setups you've defined. Um, so I enabled the, I have a worker running on field 15, I have two 
of course play and auto drive running um, I I found that I so I enabled the platinum DLC because I want to use the wheel loader out of the platinum DLC on here um, but I found that if I do that it puts DLC content into the contract selection and basically none of the contracts use my custom setups um, same with the Vermeer pack I thought I'd add that in because some of the kit in the Vermeer pack sort of fits but again it overwrites it you know it'll take the the windrow out of the Vermeer pack and then use all modern kit and that's no use to me on here um, so for now I have disabled I think every DLC um, I don't plan to use pumps and hoses for a bit anyway on here. I don't think I can afford the kit. But yeah, I've had to disable the Platinum DLC. I've had to disable the Vermeer DLC because otherwise it was overwriting all of the custom contracting setups. Um, uh, well, they say overwriting. There was a very slim chance it seemed that it would use my custom setups and most of them actually used the... Uh, the DLC ones. So we've finished the contract on field 15. We've got 3,700 litres of barley so we've got nearly 6,000 litres of barley off of these contracts which is pretty cool uh, obviously we're going to be using that for making grain mix in the winter to feed the cattle um, I end up doing another, you've seen from the thumbnail, I end up doing another big barley contract so we're doing pretty well for barley actually considering we don't have any fields um, so we've got just just under £4,300 off of there and so here you can see new setup so we've got the Steiger I've got it in the blue Ford-ish looking colors with a new cultivator and we've got the twin screw with the Iveco truck um, so the twin screw or the birotor I think it's actually called came out in I think 92 and um, so it's right at the top end of the kit that I'm using at the moment but I've only ever used it once before and it's a really nice bit of kit and I thought it looked cool so yeah um, and the Iveco obviously is perfect for what you know for the kind of setups on here it'd be really nice to own one but financially not possible at the moment um so the um we have a lot of milk to sell so i'm going to get that done we're going to head over to maypole exports i don't have auto drive set up for that yet so i'm going to see if base game worker can get us there which is going to be fun um this is the 2nd of july now i'm on two day i'm thinking we might need to push to three day months because or, or just keep playing with the time like I'm doing. Either works. Um, so the the corn is ready to chop for silage. Um, but we cannot afford either a... Um, basically, we can't afford a bunker. And I want to do pit silage on here. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit annoying. Um, so I was trying to set it to deliver to Maypole Exports, but it doesn't seem to pick that up. So we're just going to do a, a go-to, I think. Um, yeah, we can't afford to get the pit built yet. So I what I'm going to do is try and raise some cash, basically. Um, and I want to test out some of these new setups that I've done to see how well they work and to make sure they actually work. Um, so along with the Steiger, I've added back in the the Kirovet, the uh the russian tractor um do you think it was originally used to tow missiles around it's a bit controversial at the moment but it's a really nice tractor mod um so yeah base game worker going off to try and get that to somewhere near maypole exports while we worry about feeding the cows um so last game day, at the end of the day, I mowed the last of the the longer grass that we had left. Um, but the the grass that I mowed for first cut has regrown. Um, so basically, I'm going to work my way around the headlands at first, opening the field up, and uh, yeah, I, I'm just going to see how it goes with uh, with the indirect grazing. Still, it's doing a great job of feeding the cows. Um, second cut is going to be hay we do need to store a bunch of hay we've got quite a lot of grass silage stocked up for the winter we're going to have the maize silage as well um so i think maybe in the the springtime or maybe before depending on the food situation we're just showing a uh, trying something different again um and just showing the fear on its way around the map um yeah what was I going to say? Uh, I've totally thrown myself there. 
Um, and there it is again. Yeah, I, I think if, if we're doing well for breed as we get towards the end of summer, um, going in, may, maybe maybe in autumn, we'll look at picking up a few more cows. Um, so Kartek has driven us most of the way over here. I'm going to take over to uh, hook up some bits of auto drive. Um, so I hooked up the junction down there and we're now just going to create a bit of a loop so that we can get in and out of Maypole exports so that I can just send auto drive off to sell the milk with one of the workers. We're really getting back into using auto drive with this save. Um, more so than Attingham because um, you don't need to go around the map as much on Attingham. So yeah, this is, uh, this, this is kind of fun. Um, to have seen there is another update to course plate related to the bunker silo stuff there's been a couple since i made that video one of which is supposed to help with auto drive and pausing workers i don't know if it's worked or not um i haven't tested it since um but they did the the notes for the latest update did say that the the volvo wheel loaders don't work with um i'm just trying to find the trigger i have a bit of a nightmare with this um, the Volvo wheel loaders don't work with that feature, which is a bit annoying because I plan to use it on Attingham, but we'll, we'll work something else out. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to find where the milk trigger is because I seem to have driven over the cell point and it's not there. I know when this placeable is on Elm Creek, it is um, next to the other silo, I think. Um, and this is a bale cell point, but um, so I'm just trying to tag it to see where it is. And it's actually there, okay. Um, so, but if I pull forward a bit, the milk trigger comes up here. Um, but I'm just going to check to see if it is actually where the highlighted area is. And we need to drive, we need to drive, record, and exit anyway. So we'll run round and exit doesn't seem to be there. We'll run round, finish the loop off, and then work out where to put the waypoint looks like it's just past where the markers are on the ground um, or the trailer has a funny trigger all are equally possible so we'll just hook this up to the, uh, the two-way course here there we go and then we can go create our waypoint for unloading um, I quite like doing it this way anyway to get the waypoint done once you've done the rest of the course um, it's what I do with reversing courses so there we go uh, so i need to back up a little bit but i'm going to put the trigger there because you probably know auto drive will detect the trigger as soon as it gets into it and within i think it's you can set it manually i think the default is about 20 meters so if you're within 20 meters of the the waypoint and it's in a trigger it'll unload so and then i'm going to set auto drive to take us back down to the yard um, and then I'm going to see if I can set up a, a, a loop for loading the milk off of that first one. I think the second one's going to be a bit tricky because it's right next to the manure pit. So it would have to be a reversing course. But maybe we can get that one to work as well. But over £7,000 for that first load of milk. And here comes the Fiat with auto drive. Um, so... Pete asked about making more tractors move around the map. This is about the best that I can do at the moment, I think. Um, I don't know if there's a way or if someone really wants to make some tractor-based traffic, you know, like with, like the prefab that I used in yeah, from Alien Gym for the right-hand drive traffic. It'd be really nice if someone made a set that had, like, the right-hand drive traffic. A couple of tractors that like uh, like Oxy had on Sandy Bay where there was the tractor that drove around with the muck spreader uh, I think that's beyond me I've really not looked at it to be honest I'm, uh, I just start to put together a new or think about ideas for a new mod at the weekend on Sunday um, but I didn't get very far with it because it was not in the right headspace so it might be a nice job for Christmas so just over two grand for that and say so we need to raise some cash so I'm going to get some contracting done I'm going to put both of the workers on some cultivating contracts to start off um, so we've got the Traction King on the uh, one of the base game cultivators I do like this it's, it's still an option for when we're looking for a bigger tractor at the moment financially we just need to raise some cash to uh, 
to get a bunker built but this is field 15 so it's up where we where the harvester was running um, so we harvested this field yesterday for them and now we're going to cultivate it for them hopefully we can get the planting contract as well it's actually a field that i would like to grow the farm into it's in this kind of cluster in the corner um, that we own 15 and 17 are definite options for expanding the farm um, 15 is just in front of us on the left there and again is quite a nice spot um, so I've got uh, another co work, the other worker running in field 63 and we're going to test out the plowing setup for smock um, I don't know why you uh, you chose not to harvest field 81 next to us it was a glorious looking field of wheat and uh, you've asked us to plow it in it seems to have withered obviously the instant that I engaged the contract so maybe you had a premonition um, but yeah this is a cool tractor uh, we've got the the John Deere disc plow on the back. Um, something I need to tweak in the setup is this plow. I think is too big for this tractor. Um, we really struggle with speed on the hills, so um, yeah, I think I'm going to need to tweak the setup. I've done what I did is I mirrored the setup, so the Steiger is a bit more powerful than the Caravette. Um, but I put the same implements because I was being lazy and I think this one actually needs a slightly smaller plow or I need to limit it to the cultivating. So I've done um, two new plowing setups and two new cultivating setups using the two different tractors and different implements. And then I've mirrored them on the medium and the large because a lot of the fields on here count as medium. And then the same with the harvesting. I've done a, a grain setup and I've done a corn setup and I've mirrored them medium and large fields. Um, the harvesting setups i've used base game headers um because there aren't headers that go with that combine and i know they're not you know time period accurate but they're just doing a job of harvesting with the header um if anyone's got any recommendations for old headers then stick them below or stick them on discord and i can tweak the setup um and once I've done that, once I've got this setup working properly, because the plow is too big, I might release an update to this, um, assuming people are interested. Uh, it's only a couple more mods, um, four or five more mods. Um, but it's quite cool to just play with some different kit. Um, now, I'm, I'm very guilty of getting stuck in a rut with the kit that I use. So, yeah. Really nice interior on this. It's quite nice sounds as well. Um, just picking up the sounds now because I played without sound, but I am listening to the sound as I record. And yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite well done. This is the. Uh, no, I don't have. This isn't the crossplay version. It's the actual version. So the the cultivating contracts are done um up here so that's going to give us about seven grand which is quite nice and there's a big harvesting contract um on field 82 so it's eight and a half grand nearly it's barley and it's testing out the uh the the twins group setup so we're going to give that a go um i'm going to run this pretty much all on course play i actually try out the course play combine unload i did that on a bit of a whim um because auto drive isn't connected up up to this field so i thought oh, let's just try the course play one i could not get it to work um i have not really played with it properly to test it out i just kind of stuck it in the field and hit play uh, in the hope that it would do a job it looks like it's you know it's picked up the field um there's the option to use the giant unloader which i think probably uses a base game worker to get back to silo or something so i've turned that off um and i've wound down the trigger level to see if i can get it to work quicker um i could not i and i gave up basically um i i will have a look at this when i'm you know a bit more with it and uh, a bit more interested in working out how it works i tried to have a quick read of the course play um release notes for that version but yeah, I just, just didn't want to spend the time trying to debug it. So we're going to set up a tiny auto drive loop. Um, so I do this, I did this on Attingham. Um, basically, if you just want to use auto drive to unload the combine, but you don't want to use auto drive to do everything else, just record a little loop like this. 
uh, and put the two waypoints you need for the unload on it and uh, set the combine to one of them and they'll work together um, and when the trucks fall it'll come back and wait at the point you've set on here um, so my the way I did this is I, I ran all auto drive like this and then once the truck was full I went and joined this field up to the auto drive network so um, yeah it's unlikely we're going to get another contract on here that we need auto drive for but my thinking was that the more I grow the auto drive network the better um, I will just set this going um, yeah one thing that I'm not sure of and it's something that I've been pondering is how long I'm planning to run this series for, I think it's 10 game years. Unless we all get bored of it. The bit that I'm not sure about is... At what point do I think about moving maps? At what point do I think about moving farms? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. So, finished up this contract. I'm just running up the last little strip because I am a considerate contractor. Um... I'm nice like that. But it does bug me that the stones appear. Um, but hey, in fact, it looks like the stones might have been there already. No, no, they are coming. They do come from the plowing, don't they? Um, yeah, I've really, really enjoyed running this tractor. It's a really nice bit of kit. Did have to put the four wheel drive and the diff locks on because, as you'll see, as we get onto the hill, we do really struggle. Um, so I, I think I'm going to drop the plow down at a size for this tractor. It's three in the pack, so we can just drop it down a level. But six grand, five grand after fees in the bank, and uh, we can help concentrate on uh, finishing up this contract. So um, auto drive is now linked up. So I didn't have to go far to find the network, and only a few junctions needed connecting so the net most of the network on here is based off of auto drive automatically building it so it's really you know really done a good job of covering a lot and i think that's based on the fact that cavalier has done a really good job of building the helper worker network um, so I, I think it's an auto drive thing where it's not connecting some of the nodes between two way two way tracks and one way tracks um, but auto drive and course play are playing together brilliantly on this field um, the Iveco is working well. So one of the things I wondered with the course play combine unloader is because the Iveco doesn't have a trailer and reading the notes, it says it only works if it's got an auger or a trailer. So that might be the problem. Um, that was one of the things that I thought of as I was doing it. So I need to retest it with a tractor and trailer, basically. Um, I think if you've got an auger, then the... Uh, the auger driver will then try and find a trailer near the field to unload into so there's a whole load of stuff there to experiment with um, this is just auto drive it waited as the combine made the turn and then is running up to empty out so, so i found the best way in the end to get this to work because the the combine holds a lot um, so it's just finishing up but auto drive would wait it would unload the combine once and then it would wait to get a bit more. Um, I could have played with the fill level actually because I was just kind of keeping an eye on things. I would hit the button to send it off to the unload point. Yeah. So harvesting is done. We've got about 13,000 litres to deliver. So anything above that is ours and it looks like we're going to get a decent amount off of here. And we'll have the money in the next video to place the bunker silo down and get the corn chopped um so yeah looking forward to that it's going to be a bit of fun going to be using something a bit different to what i've used before i sort of used something like it on my obey on survival series a long time ago and it was interesting actually yeah, actually it was sugarcane harvesting but that'll give you an idea of what i'm planning to use and no it's not a big harvester um so 21,600 liters in the trailer uh, so we'll get that tipped. I am going to, at this point, because I forgot to do it earlier, say thank you to the patrons and the YouTube channel members. Really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. Um, hopefully you will be tolerant while I slow things down a little bit, maybe. Um, yeah. 
I'm also going to say, if you enjoyed the video and you've got this far, click the like button and leave me a comment or a question or a suggestion. Um, so six and a half grand for that contract, which is pretty nice. Um, I need, can't complete it yet because I need to take the 10,000 litres of barley back down to the farm. Um, and if, you, if you've watched this far and you're not, subscribe, turn on notifications. Um, you might enjoy it. If you've watched this much, you probably enjoyed it. So do that. Um, what you will help do is make me happy and YouTube will feed you more of the videos through the algorithm. And that means I get more views and that means everyone's happy. Um, so we're just going to go and tip this in the silo. Um, quite like this truck. I have a feeling I have used it before, but I can't remember where. But it's quite nice. We've got the, the Deutz still on lease because we've got some fields we still need to harvest that aren't ready yet. We've got wheat and canola still to harvest. So that'll be coming up in the next few videos, I guess. Um, yeah, next next month is probably going to be busy because I think we're going to have hay, probably wheat and possibly canola. So, yeah. Uh, Hopefully you've enjoyed this. this. So this was the first one of me trying to keep the length under 30 minutes because I would have been really tempted to uh, push into harvesting the corn at this point. But that would have made it a 45 minute plus long video, which I am trying to avoid. So six and a half grand in the bank. Um, and now 16,000 liters of barley in the silo. So I will see you next let's just collect this contract so nearly 50 grand in the bank which is quite nice as well and i will see you next time on attingham park